Cancer, welcome to your end of August 2019 general tarot update. It's Raina here. Interesting. Um, I'm, I'm thinking that this is kind of like maybe fallout from the lunar eclipse in Capricorn that was several weeks ago, or actually, gosh, I'm going to say several weeks ago, five weeks ago is a little bit more than several. Um, the other thing, too, this seems more of like a relationship issue to me. Um, well, I guess I could I could uh, look at it in both ways, even career matters. But the other thing I wanted to say is that there's going to be a new moon in Virgo, which is a friendly angle to you, being you being a water sign and Virgo being an earth sign. So this is going to be uh, in your third house of communication and teaching and learning. So there may be, uh, you know, for some of you who are looking for a teaching gig, maybe that's going to happen for you. And um, even some kind of an, uh, an internship uh, training or a, um, an assistantship if you're in a college setting. Who knows? So the heart of the matter is the Ten of Swords, this card of betrayal. Now, this doesn't mean that this is happening to you right now, but you may be um, visiting this issue for some reason. Perhaps this is something that happened in July uh, or earlier in August, and you're still kind of like coming to terms with it. And usually I think of a romantic situation, but that's certainly not always the case. I mean, um, it can be something in the workplace for sure. Uh, in either case, in the past position, we have the Page of Cups. So it's almost suggesting, well, you know, this is Pisces. This is a card connected to Pisces. Uh, if this is not an actual person that is a Pisces, then this could be talking about you perhaps being a little bit naive about the situation in some way. Maybe... Um, now that you think about it, you realize that you trusted the wrong person, that you, like even in the workplace, for instance, you may have been around coworkers that you assumed were uh, your friends uh, in some way, even if it was just kind of like on a shallow level, but you never in a million years thought that they would be like against you and do something um, to you that way. I think a lot of times it's not just the the result of the betrayal. Like if somebody, because um, this is like being stabbed in the back type of a thing, but it's not that the person, and of course metaphorically, um, I don't even like to say that, you know, but it's not even that so much as what you know what happens as a result of being betrayed, but just the fact that you trusted somebody and they violated that trust. That's the hurtful part about it, not like what actually happens as the as a result, but just the notion of it, you know. And so that might be what you're kind of reeling, um, reeling with, uh, reeling about. Uh, wh however that goes. But the thing is, too, the number 10 is the end of a cycle. So it could be that the worst is over, that you're recovering from that. The higher message is the five of wands. So whatever situation that you're involved with, as a spiritual message, it's saying that it was very combative, very um, competitive, and probably you were not well suited to it. You know, if you're the typical cancer person, you're caring, you are empathic, so you put yourself in other people's shoes, and therefore you're not the, the cutthroat type of person. 
So maybe you were in that type of a dog-eat-dog -dog environment and the universe kind of helped you out, even though it may be a little bit um, of a, um, it may feel like a sting of some sort uh, because of this. Uh, even a sting of rejection. If this is a romantic situation, you may feel like this person maybe cheating or whatever it was is some kind of a commentary on you when in fact the five of wands which is, would suggest that there may have already been signs that there was incompatibility maybe you were fighting a lot and you know like you're clashing I could even see like if this person was in Aries that sense of you know the the square angle can be especially irritating and there can be combative energy uh, between you and them and uh, that where you're not seeing eye to eye you're just not on the same page and nobody wants to be you know to end up in that type of situation but sometimes even out of negative situations something good comes out of it the the card that um, is a challenge card is the Queen of Cups. This is actually your card, you know, come to think of it. Cancer, double water. And what does this card represent? This card represents um, psychic ability, first and foremost. And also, it's the card of the artist. So I would say if it was a workplace where you had to be really um, aggressive, like maybe aggressive in sales, for instance, it just wasn't your cup of tea. Now, in terms of um, this card, to me, the main um, interpretation is that you may have turned your back on your own intuition. Like I said before with the Page of Cups, it's this uh, gullibility, this being duped about something, and you maybe should have known better uh, but you allowed yourself to kind of maybe you you didn't you didn't um, tune into the energy of the situation early enough on and that worked against you. So maybe the moral of the story is that you must always take stock of how you feel. And chances are, if the five of wands is any indication that what you felt, was very um, aggravated, um, and ag oh, I, I really meant agitated, by this relationship. And perhaps in some cases you kind of chalked it up to passion or, you know, wow, we're, we're having a lot of uh, arguments. Boy, we really like, we really feel passionate about this and that's why we're so emotional. But it's not. It's really kind of like negative emotions, really. Uh, what's coming in is the Queen of Pentacles. Um, this is you perhaps feeling connected to your home environment. So, for instance, if this, you know, in some cases, especially because of the fact that we're in these, this eclipse cycle, I'm talking about the whole um, 18 months or whatever, and the fact that you had one last month, in your seventh house of committed partnership, this could have been the last straw for some of you. And this may be like uh, like a marriage even. And you may be like, okay, um, this person is moving out and I'm going to have peace in my home again. And I'm going to actually feel this sense of comfort. I'm going to be doing my garden. I'm going to be... Um, really like feeling that sense that my home life has stopped being this battle zone, but it, now it's more um, of a comfortable place in many different ways. And you may just be like um, reconnecting with your home because it's no longer a place of dread, but somewhere that you can feel more you know, safe. If this is like a job situation and you may even have quit in a huff or something along those lines, 
you may be enjoying, you know, that downtime at home. Because you rule that house of, uh, you know, Cancer, fourth house, home and family. So it may have its hidden blessings, is what I'm trying to say. The outcome, Page of Swords. Um, that almost suggests, this is kind of the spy card, that you have more documentation, <laughs> documenting to do. Um, you may have to get to get, get some paperwork uh, together. You may have to research something. Perhaps you have to testify about something. Uh, yeah, Page of Swords can be research or getting, gathering evidence, gathering data. Um, if there's, if you feel like this is a workplace matter where you got screwed out of something, you may be like documenting all the previous times and maybe you've already been doing that. And, uh, but with the Page of Cups, I'm almost thinking not. So perhaps you haven't quit yet, but you're like, okay, now I'm, now I'm, now we're, now this is on. Now I'm going to do this. But there's going to be, I think, um, it's always good to be rather, um, on the down low about it. So that, you know, and not obviously trust that, that somebody at work is, is going to be able to, support you in this because you never know who's doing what but you are like uh now you're like a mole in in the company <laughs> and you're trying to to make a case for yourself um in your private life this may again maybe you haven't maybe you haven't like um you're not like out of the house, or that person is not of the house, but you're planning on it. With the Queen of Pentacles, you may be kind of visualizing when you're going to have that environment that you so crave. But in the meantime, you may be like um, doing, maybe you're hiring a private detective if, if uh, the stakes are high and you need, and you have like a, a big a state or whatever you call it that you need to, to prove your case, whatever. But um, it's being, it's definitely being vigilant. Let's put it that way. So we go from the page of cups to the page of swords, totally different energy. So that's what I have for you, Cancer. If you would like a personal reading, the link is below. Have a great rest of August. Take care. Bye.